Hi, I'm Cynthia O'Neill, and I'm here standing in front of this doorway because this doorway represents the opportunity to take you into a whole new adventure. Now, my three success principles are number one, breathe. Now the breath has everything to do with living. Did you know it takes three months without food for a human to die? And it takes three weeks without water for a human to die. But it only takes three minutes without breath and a human dies. Now, how important is the breath to you? Now, I want you to know that the breath also represents another source energy that brings us into high performance. It oxygenates the body. It brings in a whole other source energy that we don't have to always just use our physical energy because we're in that oneness with source where we bring the breath in and that breath is flowing through us and it's supporting us and balancing and harmonizing our bodies. Now, the breath also balances our pH. When we breathe in, we are breathing in alkalinity and oxygen, O2. And when we exhale, <sighs> especially an exhale breath like that, the end of the day breath, <sighs> That's a letting go and trusting breath. And that letting go and trusting breath exhales out acidity, lactic acid, that metabolic waste that brings in tightness and pain. And what pain represents is for us to let go and trust and see life in a different way, to change something in our lives. So the breath helps us harmonize and balance our bodies. So it is amazing. And we have forgotten because we take for granted that we are breathing. But do we actually use our breath to harmonize and balance ourselves? I want you to take a moment to think about that and take a deep breath. <sighs> now I spoke of my second success principle, and that is trust. Trust is another important high performance principle that will allow you to make wiser choices. Trust in your choices. And how do we receive trust? Well, through the breath, when we start balancing and harmonizing ourselves, we get to know ourselves more. We start feeling, you know, no feeling, no healing. And that's one thing in our society is that especially men have been conditioned not to feel more fully. Well, our breath helps us reconnect with that and it helps us let go and trust. So when I first met my beloved recently, this is about a year ago, I was very trusting and he asked me, why is it so easy for you to trust people? Why, do you trust everybody or everything you know, so easily? And it took me a little bit to, I've never had anybody ask me that before, and it took me back a little bit. And I, um, I thought about it for a couple of days and actually came back to him on that. And I said to him, you know, it's not that I trust everyone or everything. It's that I trust myself. When you trust yourself, you make wiser choices. You know not to walk down a street that might be dangerous for you. You put yourself in a place that is healthy for you. You make wise decision, decisions and trust the foods that you eat. And along with that, with the foods that you eat, which is an important thing, but our foods, when we eat our food, if we're not breathing fully and our bodies aren't in harmony and balance, it doesn't assimilate the food very well. 
So again, that's what's important about, about the breath. And then the, through the breath, we begin to let go and trust. And when we begin to trust ourselves, we make wiser choices. And the third one is, what happens then is we start receiving more information. We're more open to being curious to the possibilities of life. And we step out and we start making a difference and living our purpose. Now my purpose is to be of loving service and to revitalize the human spirit. And how we revitalize is through our breath. And then I'm able to trust myself so I can make wise choices. And then I step out and I learn more about myself because I'm curious about why and how I work. Why do I experience things that other people don't? Why do I take this opportunity to do this video so that I can teach others how to live in higher consciousness, in a loving consciousness? It's so important to me. Well, self-knowledge became that principle, the third principle, the success principle that actually creates success for ourselves because when we start knowing ourselves, we start loving ourselves and we're also in a place of trust. So with that, with self-knowledge, how I started moving myself into self-knowledge also is I was really curious. But what happened to me is along the way, I had so many people want to stomp on me and say, why are you so curious? Why aren't you just satisfied with what's going on? Well, funny thing is, I got so tired of people telling me, you know, what I should be doing, what I shouldn't be doing and everything, when I was really happy and trusting the movement that I was making because I was breathing life in and I was living life so fully, I realized that I needed to look up and define and find out where that, you know, curiosity killed the cat is what I used to hear all the time. And I thought, I got to find out more about that. And I went looking for the answer to the origin of where curiosity killed the cat came from. Well, do you know that it has a brother? Actually, the reason why they use the cat, of course, the cat has nine lives. And you know, it was curiosity kills the cat. Satisfaction brought him back. So we live more fully through our curiosity to find out more about who we are. We move and we take breaths. And we move through life trusting our choices. And we support ourselves with self-knowledge. And you know, I found out the more I was learning about myself, what I was learning was what I could teach best. Also, what I was healing inside myself, I healed in others. And it brought me into a loving consciousness. Now, I am here today because that is my purpose. I have started a place called the Center for Loving Consciousness. And I am so excited to be here right now sharing my three success principles to loving consciousness. And I thank you for offering me the opportunity to stand here right now and to show this to the world that I'm here, I'm here to be of loving service. Thank you so much. Namaste.